guys and welcome back to another M Creator Lore video. So today what I wanted to do was basically go ahead and test uh, if the Silk Touch uh, was actually working, that loot table that we created last episode. And I just thought I would quickly test it to see if there was any changes that we needed to make uh, to the way that we had the loot table set up. So I just grabbed a regular shovel and enchanted one with uh, Silk Touch so we could basically give it a shot. And it looks like it's actually working as it should. So we don't need to make any changes to what we did last episode. Um, yeah, so that was good. And then what I wanted to work on was how the grass can generate. So one of the things that I created was a update tick. I needed to figure out where the conditions were for the actual grass growth. And there are only four conditions that grass actually has for growing. So I knew that we needed a area test uh, to make sure that we could test two blocks above, two blocks below, and one block on each side. So with like a padding with the center block of the grass inside of it in order to make it spread. So I created a simple repeater system so we could basically go ahead and set up uh, local variables to control the offset of the position where we're going to be testing for these blocks. And then what I needed to do is basically just set up that part and then I needed to make sure that the light level above the block was uh, equal to or greater than 9 as wiki said but then I ran into a problem where it said that it must allow light to pass through it. Now I couldn't really think of a way for this to actually be done in mCrater. I don't think there is a block that can test what exact light level is above so what I needed to do was I created um, a little extra addition for the script where it could basically go ahead and test for a couple things uh, the first thing being that I needed to test if the block is a dirt block to begin with and if the um, block above is air as well so this would allow us to basically know if there is an air block above which uh, we could basically break out of the f the loop that it's in and then we're setting also a found block local variable which we can basically change the block to a um, close out of the repeaters and then finally set the grass block when it gets out of the repeaters. So once we've done that, I knew that we needed a Minecraft tag for the actual both grass and blocks. So I just used the generator tool to basically set up the block or the uh, block tag for the dirt. And then finally what I could do was I could set up the watercolor and stuff for the biome. So I couldn't see any different changes, so I just moved on to the watercolor. Um, some things uh, require it uh, additionally for the um, the tag, but it, it looks like it will be fine the way it is. So now that I set the water cutter, I wanted to pop it back in game. And we had to kill the witch one more time to kind of see if there is... Um, uh, basically to get back into the, the dimension. So I basically spawned down a witch and... Then, while there was a zombie there, I thought I would take that on as well. <laughs> it's just like one hit. And then I moved on to turning it to night, and then finally going into the dimension. So, the grass broke. Uh, that's normal for the planks to be placed. And it does look like there is tall grass here. So, that's great. Um, the next thing that I wanted to make sure is, is the grass actually growing? So, I just cleared out a small area where I could basically place down some dirt and then we can figure out if there's all the mechanics working. So it does look like the, the dirt is growing to grass, but the next question I actually had was, does the blocks underneath turn back to dirt? So in some cases, uh, if it's underwater or if it's um, another block on top of it, regular grass turns to dirt. 
So I needed to make sure that this was actually the case. So I was looking at the comparing the blocks and I decided to just go back and test underneath and it doesn't look like it's actually updating. So what I ended up doing was I, go, well, I went back into the procedure and I knew that we needed to test for the, uh, basically if there is a block above that is not air. So that would be the first condition that we would need to test for. Um, once I did, tested for not air, uh, what it would also do though is it would also test for any block that is not that particular block. And in some cases, that's not what you want to do because things like leaves, uh, tall grass, all that would end up turning back to um, dirt. So what I needed to do was actually take a right click pr procedure and test for the block opacity, which could basically uh, help us kind of figure out a way around this. So as you can see, it's kind of turning to dirt underneath these grass blocks. So I wanted to make sure that we could get the value. So the grass itself has a value of zero and I wanted to test for a dirt block and it's 15. So um, basically any value that is over basically eat or whatever should be fine to test now the other thing that I wanted to test was leaves and this value was one so most of the values should be under eat in order to test properly for any value that is darker than eight this should be a good workaround for what we need to set up for the block so going back to the procedure, I could finally uh, remove the right click event and then we're going to basically go ahead and set up a condition if the value of the light opacity of the block is equal to or greater than eight. Then what I did was I set the value to that. So this will basically allow us to work around that little issue. and. Other than that, I basically just went over the settings again, removed that extra procedure to test for the light opacity on the right click, and then we could test the world once again. So after killing another witch, I basically went back into the world. Um, we needed to just spawn a witch in quickly and kill her, and then we could go into the world itself. Turns out it can be day as well, so. And first look uh, doesn't look like the actual grass is updating to dirt which is good for underneath the tall grass the water color is actually really nice so I thought I'd just place down some leaves and some other blocks and kind of get an idea if there's any changes to it so grass does still grow and underneath it looks like it does turn to dirt so that's all I needed to know really and uh, next episode we'll probably be working on some more texturing for some different variants of tall grass so we can basically work that into the thing but if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out